like, who is she? Why do we care? I'm not asking you those questions because you're going to hurt my feelings. And I don't feel like crying today. to support thank you much love or maybe the algorithm is doing its thing and you were recommended to me or maybe you just stumbled into the abyss that is my channel either which way welcome I'm Alia Choice and today we're gonna do a 21 questions so that you may get to know me a little bit better so I have 21 questions here that I'm going to read off I'm gonna also probably put them somewhere somewhere on this uh, <laughs> somewhere here you're gonna see it okay um, as I go along so that you know what the question is maybe I have an accent to you I don't know maybe you don't understand what I'm saying but you can read it um, so I'm gonna put the questions somewhere and then I will respond to them so without further ado let's get into these 21 questions to let you know a little bit more about me so I have my handy list of 21 questions here I'm gonna try to speed through them as quick as possible but still give you the answers that you deserve so without further ado let's get started with question number technically one and two but I'm gonna kind of just group them together because they make it makes sense um, so the first question is where did you grow up and where do you currently live well I am originally from Los Angeles California I currently reign in Houston Texas dogs or cats actually I'm an animal lover but I do have a certain affinity for the cat species particularly big cats I'm talking about big ferocious cats out in the wild give me a Siberian tiger any day of the week I would be in love give me a black panther uh, I will be in love you know like that's just my thing I love the freedom that a cat has um, but and, and its sense of self if that makes sense are you in or have you gone to college I am currently in college. I attend the Texas Southern University, which I'm telling y'all because technically if you go to my socials, you'll be able to figure that out anyway. But that doesn't mean come up to my school and stop me or try to hurt me because sis, I fight. Do. Um, no, I go to Texas Southern University. I'm actually getting ready to graduate in May. It has been a very long journey. I am a non-traditional student, so long journey, a different video, but a long journey. Um, but I will give a shout out to HBCUs everywhere. I go to the Texas Southern University. However, I will always ride for HBCUs everywhere because we, we it. We're it. What's your favorite drink? Well, look what we have here at the ready. Mm -hmm. Dr. Pepper, of course. No, um, this is a two-part question. If we're talking about like regular drinks that you just like to drink, soft drinks, cold drink, soda water. I like Dr. Pepper, that is my all-time favorite. If we're talking about the alcoholic beverages, my favorite drink is a tequila, always, because I'm my mother's child. And on that note, what are my life goals? Um, my ultimate life goal is to help as many people as I can be able to achieve their version of success, whatever they might, that might look like for them. 
What sports do you play or have you played? I started off as a cheerleader, then I played baseball, not softball, baseball. Play baseball, then I did a little bit of volleyball, a little bit of basketball, a whole lot of football. Yay. I was a dancer, a stepper. Stepping is a sport, okay? Have you ever been to step practice and had to do the conditioning? That is a sport and you can't tell me nothing else. Do you speak any languages and how well? Let's see, I speak American English superbly. I am very fluent in the language. I speak African American vernacular. Spot on, sis. <laughs> Try me. Um, muy, 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 muy poquito espanol. It has been a while. I definitely need to brush up. And I'm actually currently teaching myself how to speak Mandarin. Who are your favorite YouTubers? Hands down, Tatiana Ward of Be Face Honey. She actually was the one who first got me interested in YouTube as far as being a makeup artist. Um, I've been to her classes. I follow her on everything. I'm no stalker, of course. I'm not crazy. But she's fantastic and she's actually what started me on my way in makeup artistry um, from it just being a hobby to being something that I actually pursued and strive for um, another one is Jackie Ina I just love Jackie Ina um, Alyssa Ashley outside of makeup I do like dashy games uh, if you don't if you don't watch gamers then you don't know who he is but you should because he's hilarious and I love him because first of all he plays some dope ass games but also because he's very himself in all of what that means and like all of his extraness and I live for an extra person because I'm kind of extra in real life so um what is your go-to hairstyle you're looking at it sis it is my fro I adore my fro. I love my fro. My fro is me. Yes, this is all mine, by the way, for those who, for those who just need to, oh my gosh, can we get into this? Can we get into it? We can get into it. Okay. How would you describe your fashion sense above my pay grade? don't make enough money to sustain my sense of fashion. I want to look urban chic at all times and yet most of the time I get urban not so chic. Okay? I like comfortable clothes, hit me with some sweats, a lot of black. I'm trying to get out of wearing a lot of black or muted colors, you know. Do a little pop of color. Nothing wrong with a little color, you know what I'm saying? But um Let's pair the sweats with like a nice heel, strappy heel, okay? A nice blouse, maybe a blazer, or maybe like a t-shirt, and or maybe like a crop, um, some sweats and a blazer on top with a cute little purse. Like expensive tastes without expensive pockets. That's me. Do you have any bad habits? I've got plenty. Do you have time? Um, I'm human. I err all the time. So I have plenty of bad habits. One of the biggest is probably the fact that I'm usually so involved in a lot of different projects at once that something gets placed on the back burner. What was your dream job as a kid? Two jobs. Always. That's it. Job numero uno. Singer. Say it with me. Singer. Numero dos. You listening? Because it, it gets serious. As a kid, I wanted to be the first black female president of the United States. Simple. That changed later on when I understood politics and government a little bit better. Um, what is your favorite sports team? Well, I said I'm from Los Angeles, so 
Duh. Los Angeles Lakers, are you kidding? Always a die-hard fan for the Lakers. Minus LeBron. Meh, unpopular opinions. Don't care. You clocking me? You're not clocking me. Oh, okay, that's what I thought. Have you ever failed at anything and what did you learn? Y'all may or may not like my answer to this, but um, I think failure is a part of life or, or we fail most of our lives, if not our entire life in some aspect. And so I'm still failing to this day and I'm still learning from those failures every single day. I think that we are so afraid to fail that we often don't even get started on things and that's the wrong mentality to have. And so I embrace failure because I know at the end of failure is my learning experience. Who is your celebrity crush? If I tell y'all, can y'all hook us up? Because if you can't, just, just call him for me and, and, and tell him to hit me, okay? My celebrity crush is Michael B. Jordan. Yeah, that's him. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. The B stands for bitch, he's mine. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know where that came from. I have no idea. He's mine. Hey, Michael. Oh, but you know what? I have another celebrity crush too, though, you guys. Avery Wilson. My God. God blessed his pipes. <sighs> Not going to say that. I stopped myself. We're going to keep going. Whew, that got dangerous. What are your pet peeves? My number one pet peeve in this world is people who cannot hold themselves accountable. Like they hold themselves accountable for absolutely nothing in this world. For the things they do or the things they don't do. They just don't hold themselves accountable for any of it. As you can tell, I... It's a pet peeve. Next question. What are your favorite values in friends? I gotta get some first. Partially serious, but on a more serious uh, note, mm, <sighs> reciprocity. Um, a lot of friendship dynamics that I've had have been where I put in more into the friendship than the other party, and so what I look for more in friendship values is someone who's going to put in as much um, as, as much effort and energy as I'm going to put in to the friendship because what is the biggest struggle you overcame um my collegiate journey like I said I'm a non-traditional student so I've been in college a lot longer than the average person um <laughs> the four years in and out just didn't apply to me um yeah, hate it, but it's where I am, and I'm overcoming this struggle because as of May, I'm out. <laughs> I'm good. I get two degrees hotter, so I'm excited. <laughs> um, what does the last text message you received say? Mm. I think it says I'm streaming. Somebody was letting me know that they were streaming. So I would be loud, I guess. I don't know. What is the best Harry Potter movie? Thank you for this question. Because most people don't say what I'm about to say. The best freaking Harry Potter movie, hands down, is Order of the Phoenix. Do you hear me? Do you understand? Like, hello? In Order of the Phoenix, we learned that Harry not out here doing things by himself and he doesn't have to be because there's people who love him and care for him that are his friends you know like that resonates with me on a deeply on a deep level that resonates so yeah oh guys this was so fun but we've come down to our last question here and it's 
What is the first thing you think of when you hear the word crust? My second favorite food in the world, pizza! Thank you guys for hanging out with me, getting to know a little bit more about myself um, as I answered these 21 questions. It was fun and freaking fantastic. I can't wait to see you guys around soon, so stay tuned. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up, smash that subscribe button, and click that notification bell so that you can be the first to know every time I drop a video. Thanks for watching.